going on. I'm out here on the walk tip. Look at that. Sun's busting out. And it's my favorite time of the sky watch, man. It's called, uh, I call it the magic window. You see how that light? See, the light is actually shining off the bottom of that, dude, because of the sun's so low in the sky. So listen, it gives it a different quality of light. Freaking, and, uh, there's the most brilliant display of color changes, like the spots that'll be dark will switch and get bright again. Look at that shadow back there behind that. Right there. It's kind of strange looking. Anyway, whoa. Oh, yeah. I got these two little doves. They come over every day to my backyard there. Look, right up there. That's a nice looking cloud right there. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to try to freaking get a quick, a quick scan. Want to get some eyes on some areas where there's some potential at, potentialities of some, uh, maybe some mushroom action. You know what I'm saying? Look at them pretty flowers there. Yeah, the flowers don't came out, buddy. But we had this strange patch of cold weather, dude. Like hot and cold weather, so it's kind of like, uh, that's kind of, uh, it's not the kind of stuff you want to hear when it comes to the mushroom hunting. Just like, I'm not sure. It can't get too low. Can't get too hot. But what I do know is this too though. See, the ground temperature is going to be slightly different. Because there's a pocket of air in between the leaves and the dirt there, dude. And there's also chemical decomposition going on, dude. And chemical decomposition... Actually, it's a chemical fire of sorts. Like I was thinking about this the other day. You know, I make charcoal in the fire with, you know, by getting it really hot and choking it out, you know, with like leaves or something. And then, uh, I was thinking, well, this, you know, this leaf material and this wood material gets deposited under a marshy environment. And then the marshy environment conditions go away and it dries it out. It's a chemical. It's like almost as if it was burnt. Freaking, because, you know, I found a couple pieces of charcoal the other day. There's some strange stuff going on up in that sky over there for sure. See, I should have went and got some, some disc golf action in, but. Because, listen, I find a lot of mushrooms. Actually, while well, I'm out discing, man. Because discing is like hiking mixed into a freaking sport no joke dude because day you, you your discs go off in the bushes you have no choice but to step off at times right off into the bush man so like look you bump into some cool compounds buddy i mean first you just got to be made aware of it oh, i seen a dog down there i seen the collar that was the first thing that gave me gave it away that it's not wild Oh yeah, listen to me. Oh, it's the shepherd. Oh yeah, here's this guy. Mr. Nice Guy with the shepherd. I'm gonna walk through the bush. <laughs> Freaking. Ooh, look at this. Never noticed that before. It's an old freaking manhole or sewer, and it looks like a freaking turtle there. Check this out. Heck's all that white stuff. Got styrofoam, old age styrofoam. Anyway, man, I find some strange freaking deposits out here in these woods, man. Like of old rubbish and trash and broken bottles and. All kinds of other stuff. Look at this bent tree right here. Thing's almost like a perfect bow shape. Anyway. You know, I, I find a lot of uh, natural stuff to build my uh, crafts and my products out of. 
Plus, it helps just with inspiration in general. Being out here in the green and the freaking in the wild. Like right there, see that bar in that bank there? That would be excellent for, uh, oh, there's ducks right there. That would be excellent, like Tony Hawk's freaking rail secret location. Like, do an ollie off the duck's head, the duck's beak onto the, you know, uh, onto the rail over here off the tree branch. Ooh, look at this hole. It's, oh. Yeah, see, look, I, there's stuff under there. Like, so look, there's, like this thing right here. That could be, uh, yeah, those are all hollowed out. Those are freaking natural burrows. Like, yeah, I would definitely like to dig into some of these trash mounds that I found out about in different locations. Like on the sneaky, sneaky tip. You don't want to publicize everything like that, man, because, uh, I mean, you could really get into some freaking fiascos. Look, there's another manhole right there. See that? So look, it's almost like there could be a bunker right out here, dude, wouldn't you know it? And I do have a theory, like look at all these vines right here, dude. Fine city, dude. I could build a freaking, the biggest, like freaking, one of my ornaments, ornaments you ever seen. Like one big enough you could sleep in it. Oh, that would be dope. Dangling house, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was thinking though, my ornament almost, I, I could probably make a frisbee golf basket out of vines, out of uh, grape vines, dude. These wild grape vines. Oh, there's, there's another one. See, last time I was so busy looking for mushrooms that... I didn't even notice all these weird uh, manholes. Because you see how that hill goes up right there, man. So you, in theory, dig under all that there. You know, now that I work in the construction field and, you know, and I had my fair share of uh, well-rounded experience, I kind of got a basic understanding of a lot of different processes now. So I can kind of see how things work a little bit. Yeah, see, this is, I can already tell this area right here, way too wet. This particular spot right here, and that was what I was thinking before I even came down here. But this is the most closest local thing I got at the moment to look at. Like, right off Top Street. I mean, look, there's probably some more stuff. If I put my mind to it. I could, uh... Yeah, no, there's stuff to get to, man. But my access at the moment, man, is just stunted. Because of, cause of the whip game is not proper. Hasn't been for a while, dude. It's really been cramping my style, dude. But I guess I could freaking try to get me a bicycle, dude. And that would... That helped me out just a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to cut this one here. And, and bust up another one. Just, you know, to keep them freaking in nice bite size increments. You know what I'm saying? So, take care. God bless. Much love. Safe travels. Until next time. Peace.